Hey traders, gonna give you a money management technique that could literally, literally help you become a really successful trader. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Alrighty then, we have a, a money management technique for you today. <laughs> I'm losing it. All right, so money management technique. Let's actually, let's actually look at this here. You guys know, right, that not every trade you're gonna take is, is a successful trade. That's the reason why it's good to have it, that's the reason why it's important to have a money management technique, right? MM for short, money management. So, this is what I think is important. A lot of people, let's just say for example, so you know, you had a $10,000 trading account, right? A $10,000 trading account. And that $10,000 trading account um, you know, you, you obviously you're trading it, right? Now, what a lot of people do, they search the internet, they find a YouTube video, they're like, oh my goodness, this guy sounds so confident. Let's whack five grand on it. Let's whack $5,000 on that trade. All right, and then what happens? Oh my goodness, uh, you know, $5,000. And then what, what generally happens to that, right? You get smacked. And all these excuses and reasons why you didn't get out, blah, 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 blah. And before you know it, within one trade, your account is down 25%. You've taken a 50% whack on this one. You got out, so I can't do it anymore. You lost $2,500. Now your account's down to $7,500 and you lost 25% of your account in one trade. Wrong. You should not be doing this at all. Right. If you want to have a long-term longevity in the markets, um, now I do. I must give. I must be honest with you. I do this on a rare occasion, but only on certain trades that obviously I know that are just like when they turn up, they're so so high successful. Now, if they don't work, I'm going to be down maybe ten percent. You know, what I mean, not fifty percent. So maybe twenty percent. You know what I mean? So so that's that's where mine's not fifty percent of my investment there. So what I what I strongly recommend you doing is whenever you're in the whenever you're in the markets, um, you want to be able to be in a situation where your wins are not exciting you and your losses are not hurting you, right? Remember, you've probably heard the thing, keep your emotions out of trading. So this is what I like to do, or well, this is what I did when I first got started to get myself going, right? I traded five hundred dollars per trade, and I had a I had an average stop, an average stop of twenty percent. Now, I was trading options, all right? Buying options, and I was just buying options. I was looking at the stock market, trying to find good stocks, and then buying options over their stocks, right? Uh, I was trading in the money options, so they were the less riskier options. Uh, so if the market did go against me, I wasn't hurt too much. And so, on average of 20%, sometimes I got that down to say even 5%. You know what I mean? So that's actually what we're looking at there um, in, the, uh, in the overall markets uh, itself. So, so uh so so 20 percent stop now how much is that that's a hundred dollars so if i if i if i'm taking a trade now because remember guys right you you want to be you want to be sort of semi-certain because there isn't really no certain in the markets but you sort of want to be semi-certain that if the trade goes against you most of the time you can get out with say around about a one or even sometimes less percent less percent uh, uh loss on your overall account right uh less Small loss, <laughs> so a small loss, right? So a hundred dollar loss. So a hundred dollar loss is around one percent of your account, right? And so then, and you want to have that. And then what? I, what I was aiming for was around a sixty percent target. I was aiming for around sixty percent. Now sometimes I got forty percent, sometimes I got seventy percent, sometimes I got a hundred percent. But I was aiming, and I got around about a sixty percent target. So what is the, what is a sixty percent? Uh, so what is a sixty percent target? So if that's a hundred dollars. What is it? Is that three hundred bucks? Around three hundred dollars, right? So yeah, around three hundred dollars. So I was making around three hundred dollars. So this was the this is this was my goal, and every single time I took a trade, I was looking at this, and I said, okay, I yes, it's not a hundred dollars. I lost hundred bucks. Whoopie do. I made three hundred bucks. Whoopie do. 
right? But the thing is, is that I realized I had to have good, I had had to have good successful trading uh, disciplines to get ahead on the markets, thinking about the long term. So this is what I was doing. I was focusing this and focusing on focusing on this, right? And then this is and this is how your account starts to grow, right? And then if you only 50, 50 right, you can see you do well. But if you ever if you're getting better and better and better at trading, where I got my success up to around about eighty something percent, and uh, and you can see my and you see what what I was doing here, you can see how reason why I got ahead, right? It's just a mathematical game. But people put so much emphasis on one trade. People put so much emphasis on they have to make this one or two. Sometimes I had two or three or four trades losing in a row, right? So you want to have you want to set it up where your losses are not hurting you and your wins are not exciting you. Right, and when doing that, you can take the trades because everyone everyone tries to take a trade hoping that this one trade is going to be well. And if you don't, like I was talking to one guy, wow, if wow, you're probably watching this video right now, wow, you took silver and you're so excited on the email, right? You didn't even didn't you didn't become part of my coaching program? You're probably not doing well right now because I could teach you so many things in my coaching program. But anyway, that's that's, that's full up right now. Anyway, so um, <laughs> so. So, you know, so, you know, you have, and, you know, people, people money on hoping it's going to be a trade. No, don't hope because you don't know what's going to be, what's going to be a successful trade. So you can see here that you want to have your losses where your losses are small. They're not, they're not, they're not hurting you and your wins are not exciting you. Well, but the thing is, what happens if you did this three times in a row? That's $900, right? What is that on, on a percent of your account? Your account's up 9%. Now, it's only $900, yes, but what if you did that in a month? Now, guys, what I'm talking about here is neutralizing your journey, right? Neutralizing your journey. But let's say you start with a $10,000 trading account, right? And this is the sort of numbers you're doing, right? And then again, and once you, once you start getting better and better and better, this is how you start to grow your account. This is how you start to make 50% return on your account, 100% return, and so on and so forth. Right, but you, but all those other disciplines go into becoming a good trader. Trade management, understanding about trade management, money management, trading techniques, a really good trading system, understand how the markets work. This is what goes into becoming a good trader. Not just give me a system and I'm gonna make money. No, because your emotions are too high. Right, it's like it's you know it's just like you know you. This is what you want to do to stick to the long term plan. Now John's like, oh my goodness, it's ten thousand. I, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to make a full time income off a ten thousand dollar trading account. Newsflash, newsflash, you won't, you won't, right? You just won't. But you want to build it up and then say this is your first year. And let's say for example the next year you, you got twenty grand in your account. And let's just say and you build it up, you build up to twenty thousand dollars over say a twelve month period. And then suddenly what happens? You've been saving and saving. You've been selling what you can to get off. And then suddenly now you've got fifty thousand dollars in your account. Well, now 50 is that, right? And that's, well, let's just say, for example, you sold, you sold, a, sold an investment or you sold a property or something like that. And now, this, remember, this is, what, this is based on a $10,000 trading account. What if you started doing this on a $100,000 trading account? Now, can you see how, by playing the same principles, but applying just a bigger bank account, can apply a substantial amount of income? This is how guys sometimes, and I'm not saying you can do this, but this is how this is how sometimes guys I've done two or three hundred percent return on my account, you know, in a year, is is by doing that. Now, guys, I'm not I'm not I'm not even promising you whatsoever you're gonna make any money from this video, okay? So please don't think I'm saying that. Uh, you know, I must must be very 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 clear with what I'm saying there, okay? It's it's really really important you understand that. I'm not I'm not promising any money. I'm just saying what I've done. It's taken me 12 years to get here. I you know, and it takes you a long time to get up to where I am today. But you need to start, and this is where you need to start. I'm just trying to show you the journey ahead. Even if you take take the pressure off, even if you gave yourself two or three years to take a ten thousand dollar trading account, work save, work save, work save. But you knew over three or four or five year period that you are likely to be here, and if you're likely to be here trading really really well, where you can start to do really well for the markets because you're doing this, you're doing the disciplines and all that sort of stuff. Do you see what I'm saying there? Right, and now, now if you're trading a hundred grand, now you're losing. A, now you're losing, and if you're doing the twenty percent, now your losses are thousand dollars from a hundred thousand dollar trading account, and your wins are three thousand dollars. Do you do you see what I'm saying there? Right, but you have that long term plan. If you don't have a lot of money to your name, well, you need to be focusing, especially on these success disciplines, because this is how you get ahead. People say, well, if I had more money in my account, I'd become a better trader. No, you you are not a good. You don't have money in your account right now because you're not a good trader. 
Get the success disciplines down properly and you'll start to get ahead massively, massively, massively. So anyway, guys, that's a little money management technique for you. I hope you really enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you real soon. Remember, success can be yours if you go climb it. So step up, take massive action and face your fears today. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.